What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Parker's Outdoor Lifestyle. Today we're doing an unboxing video. I haven't done an unboxing video in really quite some time. So today I got two boxes that I'm going to unbox for you. One is one six cents box and two another six cents box. So I did, I used to do mystery tackle box, I've done that. Uh, I think I, I did the six cents, you know, sat like, you know, their subscription for a little bit, but I stopped it when I moved to Colorado because I didn't need any of that stuff. But now that I live in Texas and there's bass, I can justify re-upping my bass fishing arsenal a little bit. So I don't know which box is which, actually. I haven't paid too much attention to it, so. I got one of their the premium super sack and their saltwater collection, like their saltwater collection, because I do live down on the coast. Try to go target some redfish and trout with some of those lures. So either way, I'm just gonna get right into it. I hope you enjoy it. Get my trusty little Gerber pocket knife. So yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know which sack is which. So we'll just open it and go from there. Okay, what are, all right, so here is the Super 6 pack. There you go, nice little six cents Crown Royal bag. So let's see, let's see what we got. Ooh, looks like we got some good stuff. So let's go, I'm gonna pick a bait out at random. Let's go with, all right. What's this right here? The Clout five and a half inch. It looks like it was one of their stick style baits right there and June bug red. That's gonna be a great color down here for South Texas because water's just a little bit murky down here. So if any of you fish Choke Canyon or Lake Mathis down here in South Texas, hit me up in the comments below. Love to go fishing with you. But yeah, six cents, clout. I love the packaging. And it feels like a really sturdy, bait something i can definitely do a lot of i like the tapered end to it makes it fun for you know using the shape i like tapered end worms for you like on a shaky head or a nico rig i think it just adds a little something a little bit different i don't think it does anything action wise i just think it looks better i like those tapered worms for those types of for those types of techniques all right one bait down it's good in here let's get it I feel a hard bait. Let's get a hard bait out. All right. So this is the Six Cents Swank 77X in gold reactor color. This looks pretty dope. I th like this one will be really cool in the spawn and maybe out here in the salt water because it's not, it doesn't run that deep. So it's, you know, kind of like a, it's like a wake bait with a different bill. But yeah, look at that. Let's see if it'll autofocus on that. But yeah, you see how it has that square bill on it? A little bit different bill, keeps it really running really shallow, gives it a very, re very wide action. So that's a dope bait right there. I'm gonna have to, you know, learn how to organize again. I got my, you know, all my, might need another pegboard, all my other random stuff, duck hunting and fishing stuff over on this side of the office. I'll have to figure out something to deal with the influx of the new baits. All right, so let's grab another one. Let's grab another one. A Movement 80X Copper Green Shad color. I think I've actually used, I think I have one of these somewhere, you know, in my tackle collection. So, you know, dives only to three feet, really shallow running bait. I'm sorry if there you can hear people talking in the background. My neighbors three stories down like to do cookouts a lot. But no, that looks like a lot of fun right there. Cool bait color. Big bill. Really wide action on these. I think they're super cool. I've thrown one a few times. I can't say I've had much luck on it, but that's why I get this stuff. So I can learn new techniques and get some cool new and cool looking baits on the market because six cents up there when it comes to just baits, in my opinion. They're so cool. Next one, next one, next one. Let's go with, what's this right here? Ooh, 
a lipless crankbait, a Snatch 70X in chrome bacon color. This is, each, each company has their own version of the rattle trap, lipless crankbait. I do have several of these because I really like them. I have love their action. They have great paint jobs. But this color right here, this reminds me, this reminds me of one of those old school crankbait, old school Bill Lewis rattle traps. The silver with the blue back, little red gills, some nice orange underneath it. I mean, this is just a money color in general. Like I have caught so many striped bass on one of these right here. It's not even funny. Sand, you know, sand bass, striped bass, stri you know, whatever you call them. This is a money bait and money color, in my opinion. One of the best color schemes out there. Only got a couple baits left in here. All right, we got a quarter ounce divine swim jig. I've rarely thrown swim jigs. It's not one of my strong suits. And it's not something I've really ever thrown. That's something I need to just have tied on one day and just fish that all day. That's how I learned, just fish it all day and see how it works. Definitely a darker and muddy water color. What is it? Cajun bluegill. I mean, it looks really, I mean, the paint and everything on it just looks awesome. So definitely going to try to incorporate more swim jigs into my, you know, into my bass fishing. Just something I've never really done. There's lots of places down here with lots of cover and things so a swim jig would be good for. I just haven't really fished them that much. All right, so I think we got, yeah, we got two more baits. So let's put one out of here. What is this? A Crush Mini 25 Mid-Depth. Let me take the wrapping out of this. And chrome Shiner color. Now, I think this is one of their, what they call finesse swim baits. It's only a quarter ounce. Dives four to seven feet. You know, reminds me of like a Bandit 200 and one of my other favorite crankbaits. You know, very light rattles. Really pretty color scheme. Really nice gold. You can see that right there. Good for that, you know, kind of stained, you know, stained water. You know, maybe on overcast day, something to, you know, overcast with some sun, something to catch the light a little bit on them. Definitely, you know, I've caught a bunch of fish on what they'd call finesse crankbaits because, you know, I use crop, you know, bandits or crappie crankbaits. I use a ton of them for bass fishing. This is what that reminds, this is what that reminds me of. So definitely going to be a fish catcher in the future. Something easy to, easy to just turn and burn and just work and find fish. All right. So I think we are on to the last bait, which is, yep, one of my favorite baits. A Crush 50X and Chartreuse Sungill. You just can't go six cent square bills. Just they just look good and they have high quality materials on them. They're great baits. Pull this one out of the box. Now this one got some two loud knockers in there. Yeah, look at that color though. I mean, that looks pretty. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Little blue bat on the back around the eyes. Kind of chartreuse, give it a little orange dot in there just to give it a little zest. But no, this would be, it's gonna be perfect down here in Texas whenever they start moving up shallow. So that is the six cents, what is it, super six pack. So that's the that's the one I got, you know, that's the like, I guess, it's the step below the tailored pack, you know, in between. Got a little bit more value in the box, but my, you know, I think it's worth it because, you know, you and I both know how much, you know, if this, this square bill is or how much you know you know this bait is so yeah we all we all know how much all this stuff it you know is get a lot of stuff for a really good price wish i got a little more soft plastic they have a few soft plastics that I might have to order but they have some cool stuff that i'd like to get my hands on so only soft plastic i got was the clouts that's a good haul right there okay now that that one's done, let's move on to the other box, which I know is the salt sack. And they tell you what's in the salt sack online, but I ordered it and I forgot what's in it already. I know there's like a top water bait, walk the dog bait, but it's all their salt water series stuff. You know, just beefier hooks and rust resistant hooks on there. So still get an awesome crown royal bag. This is what I want, wanted to bring out of there. This is what I knew that they have. This is a Mad Dog 130 Saltwater Series 
bait. This is a huge walk the dog style bait. See if I can get it out of the package and show you. The color is dirty chartreuse, which would be perfect for down here. Come on, let's get you out of there. I mean, it's the I mean, it's the size of like what you would call like maybe a super spook. I haven't thrown one of six cents top waters, but I mean, it's got heavy duty knockers in there. I mean, it just looks, you know, it just looks like a really cool bait. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna give all this stuff a shot. I'm gonna keep this bag separate from the other ones. because I'd like to see if I can do a slam with every lure that I got in this sack. See if I can make a video of me catching one fish on each one of these lures. You know, if it's a red or a trout or a flounder, just something, you know, do a, do a slam. I think that'd be a lot of fun with one of these, but you know, this, this bait, it's 1.2 ounces. This is a big top water. So I need to get me a rod that can handle throwing a big top water like that. If you're a saltwater guy, link me or put a comment down below what rod you think would pair well with this. I know they do a lot of lighter action rods than they do in typical bass fishing. So I've been reading like a medium action rod with, you know, you know, bait casting with some 30 pound braid would be really good for this. But let me know in the comments down below what you what you know, what kind of rod, you know, length and power should I pair for throwing one of these. Now let's move on to the next one. Here we go. We got a Sixth Sense Speed Glide. And the, what is that? Copper Penny color. Bust this out here. Nice sparkly treble with a feather on the back of it. Like those. And people don't think you can't fish, catch redfish or trout on bass tackle. You totally can. But yeah, one of these little wake baits pretty fun out there i mean that's what it looks like you know almost like a pinkish and gold looking body with a really feathery treble whoop let's get that out of my let's get that out of my hand but no that looks like a lot of fun we'll have to give that give that a try here we go it's a hyper jerk 70 little twitch bait great for down here Looks like almost, you know, like your Miradine or, yeah, you know, Rapala, you know, jerkbait, you know, really short jerkbait. That looks like it's gonna be money. Dirty water, black feather to kind of get them, you know, look, looking at it. But no, that looks like a lot of fun. Really cool paint job. Can't wait to wreck it on some, on some speckled trout. Cause I think that's what the, that's, they're gonna hone in on this in the summer. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Or maybe, you know, February and March. Oh, excuse me. It's already warm down here in South Texas. I need to get the kayak all rigged up and ready to go. I got lots of plans for that. Gonna keep it on the Jeep and I got plans for the Jeep. Hopefully I'm not driving it, you know, for too long. More stuff on that coming up. We got one of these in the other box, but now we got a saltwater movement 80 in the live mullet color. Now, a guy at the local tackle shop at Roy's said, you know, get one of these. Cause I mean, it's a wake bait. It's like, I'm only gonna be fishing. I'm only gonna be fishing in maybe less than five foot of water. It's cool to have a search bait that I can just burn over the grass and burn shallow and target all these shallow fish. Cause I'm not fishing in 20 foot of water out there most time. I'm on the flats and around coves and cuts and around, you know, creek channel and, you know, and around channels most of the time. I'm not in super deep water. So having a bait that can navigate all that brush and keep it shallow and search for those fish would be absolutely perfect. But all these saltwater baits, all these hard baits, they all have heavy duty hooks that won't rust and corrode. All right, what else do we have in here? I think these two pair together. Got some six cents divine jig heads, swim bait heads. Let's see, three sixteen sounds with a three odd hook. That's perfect. Screw lock, I love that. In the baby shad, can be you know can be used as live mullet color. Or put it like that way. Oh, sorry for yawning. I just got like a wave of the sleepies so bad while I'm Phil, while I'm doing this video. But no, that's perfect. And to pair with those, we got some 
six cents divine swim baits in electric shiner that the 3.8s in electric shiner you know everybody down here says just throw a paddle tail swim bait just throw a paddle tail swim bait you can catch everything down here and that is true because i caught a ribbon fish on a pink paddle tail and that is the weirdest thing i've ever caught at the end of my line post a picture of it you know right here you know, paddle tail swim baits are a strong go-to down here. You know, it's something I really don't have confidence in. You know, even in the bass fishing world, I never really threw just a paddle tail swim bait or anything along those lines. You know, I've thrown underspins and I can't say I've had a bunch of experience actually catching fish with either of those. You know, being completely truthful, but down here, everybody's got a swim bait tied on. Every fish is looking for a fish to eat down here. So that's going to be both of these sacks. So got the six cents premium sack and the six cents salt sack. It's a collection. This one isn't a subscription service. This one is. So you get lots of cool stuff in each of these each of these and I highly recommend checking it out because they kind of tailor it to what do you need they kind of give you a little bit of everything so I hope you enjoyed this you know maybe I'll do more unboxings in the future gonna be doing more tackle and more office prep for things in the future gonna add some better you know lighting and stuff behind me but either way I hope you enjoyed this I'll do more unboxings leave a comment down below if you'd like that let me know where you're at. Are you a saltwater angler? Which sack would you prefer to buy? Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Try something new, get outdoors. Follow me on all my socials. Like and comment on the video. I really appreciate it. Peace.